Does the heuristic design approach win or does the model-based optimization approach win? Just for fun, I wanna see how fast we can make her. Okay, eight volts, 10, 11, 12. No matter how much voltage I put across the unloaded robot's motors, the current shouldn't change. So the extra power that I get, right, which is voltage times current, the current doesn't change, it's just the voltage changing, and that translates to a faster gate cycle. That's where that power is going. Now, the only load that would be affected by the speed would be the acceleration of the legs. But because the legs don't have that much inertia in the first place, their acceleration doesn't contribute a lot to the external torque applied to the motor. Now you can imagine that changes entirely when the robot is loaded. When it's walking on the ground, it physically has to lift its own body weight, which is not negligible. Theoretically, once we have this robot walking, we should see the current increase as the voltage increases. Because it's moving faster, the robot is accelerating up and down faster. We should see more load on the motors, and we should see more current being drawn. So the first test that I want to do with these robots is find the loaded voltage current curve.